What's up guys? So I'm out here in the shed and I'm going to um, be installing the uh, EvoTech uh, GPS mount on the Tiger. Um, let me go get it real quick. This is the EvoTech mount right here. As you can see, there's the name brand and it's um it's machined really nice. It's got some nice uh, curves to it, um, nice dents. I've already assembled it here up here. It comes with a kit that you put all these screws in and the backing on your GPS. And the wiring is all my design, don't worry about all that. And I've already got the wires put on. Uh, so without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the screen off of the Tiger. Um, I think it's a five millimeter hex. Right here, there's four screws, and these are well nuts, just like the rubber ones on the KLR. So I'm gonna get that off, probably clean it up really good, and I'll put the GPS mount, and this mounts right to it, this using original hardware, so. Let me get the camera set up and use my iPhone out here in the shed. But let me get the camera set up and we'll get busy. It is a five mil hex bolt nut thing. It come right out. I mean, you all know with a, you got a KLR or anything else that uses these hex nuts. You know, there's just a little rubber to grow in there. They come right out really easy. The trick is setting them so much they don't lose them. Hoping that this puts the GPS in a better position to see it. I mean, it's okay where it's at, but I prefer it to be right up here in front. And uh, there are other manufacturers that make GPS mounts. Um, I don't know why I like this one. The only thing that I'm a little skeptical about is that it's going to move with the windscreen, and I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, there's a subscriber of mine, um, Scott. You know who you are. He just purchased one, he's got the same bike, um, and he just recently purchased a GPS mount, and I'll show you where it goes. Alright, I'll get the windshield off. So the mount he purchased, um, it's got some, um, can, I, can you see this? Yeah, so, I don't want to take the camera off the thing, but... So the one, so the one he purchased has these little wings. They're 3D printed. And they mount right here to this plastic bit, and the um, uh, the GPS doesn't move. It just mounts there, and the windshield goes up and down, and everything's fine. So the one I purchased here, as you can see, it's going to mount right here to the original windshield bolts using the original screws, supposedly. We'll see. So when the windshield goes up and down, so will the GPS. Um, so let me go clean the, the GPS unit or the screen up and I'll get started um, doing this install. Well, uh, so this, this might come in handy if you had a couple more people because as you see here, it's going to be difficult to get all this going. Well, I got to hold this other unit on too. So let's see what I can get going here with two hands, but I need six. Maybe I can get this on the real screen. I don't know if this isn't even in frame. So I get that through there. I'm just dropping stuff left and right here. So. Alright, so this is not working as well as I thought. Let me get the tool out. Might be the trick. That might be the trick. If I get a screw in here. There, get it started. That'd be a bad trick. Well, it said you could use the original hardware, but I don't see it working. I don't see how that's gonna work.
I got that one in. It just takes a little effort. Put a little bit of oomph. Now with these well nuts, you don't want to over tighten these because it'll strip a, because it's just a, a brass bushing or a brass threaded bushing inside a rubber boot. And what happens is when you tighten it up, that rubber boot expands. And you don't want to overdo it because it'll strip them out. Like that one right there just turned. There we go. All right, well, it's, it's on there. Looks like it's fine. Well, the GPS comes up pretty high. I don't think I'm going to mind it, though. We'll have to see how it looks. Let me bring you around here where I'll be sitting. I'm going to have to clean up the, these wires a little bit, but that's no big deal. So. Okay, so I got the, the cam, I'm holding, I'm holding the phone at eye level. So as I look down, you'll be able to see what I'm gonna be able to see. Now once I, I'm gonna have to dress this, this, this power cable up, of course. So let me get the bike turned on. And we'll see what it looks like when I raise and lower the windshield. All right, here we go. So right now it's all the way up. And that's at its lowest position. It's still, it's not blocking anything based on my vision. So, um, I don't see a problem with this at all. And I like the, I like where it is located more so than being over here. Uh, because over here, it gets in a way that, uh, over here, the tank bag you gotta worry about. So I can eliminate this ball mount. And if I decide to use the phone, I can still use this, this mount too as well. Um, but I don't know yet, but right now I'm liking, I'm liking this uh, GPS mount quite a bit. Now you can, you can, is, so there you see it, it goes all the way down and, uh, and I'm six one. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but the height is fine. Let's just do a little walk around here. Um, it doesn't interfere with anything. Um, it's very well made. The machining is perfect. I know you guys can't see in there very well. Um, the windshield is on, it's tight. I don't know how much thread I got inside those well nuts, but it doesn't feel like it's coming loose anytime soon. Oh, you can see it from this side. It doesn't interfere with anything. I got my sticker covering up the Triumph logo. Ah, oh, you can see my reflection. But um, so far, I already like it. I already like it. Um, like I, just like some of the BMWs and uh, like uh, Box of Chocolates KTM, how the GPS unit is mounted right here in front. So you don't have to like look for ahead and then look over here for your GPS, in my case right here, and back to your, your speedometer and everything else. And then everything is in line so you can glance at the road and, and you can still see this in your vision without taking your eyes off the road. So, so far, um, I'm impressed. I like this quite a bit and I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. I wish these screws, they would have came with some hardware that might have been a little longer. I don't think they're going anywhere. I got several turns on them, so the threads are in there, but, um, yep, I'm, been, I'm happy with it. Um, I, uh, I think it's gonna work out great for me. It's exactly what I was looking for, and um, I'm happy that I got it installed today. It was too easy. I mean, it, it started off, I was gonna be, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I was able to get it, as you see, and um, it worked out pretty good. LR sitting over there it is it is up for sale um, I got it on cycle trader and I'll, I'll post a link down in the description if anybody's interested but I got a guy coming down to look at it Monday I've got all the original parts over here the original seat I got the KLR handlebar bag I've got the tough panniers I've got the soft rack adapters for the panniers uh, spare tubes I got the original hand guards the original mirrors um, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff on it, but, um, I'll, I'll link to the cycle trader ad. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for hanging out with me for this little quick install. I mean, it really was pretty quick, but 
Um, the next video I'll have, I'll review what I think of it going down the road. Anyway, talk to y'all again soon. Later. Thanks guys for watching my video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. I, I really, really do. I mean, I'm having fun with YouTube and um, this year, uh, the past year or two actually, has probably been the, my best and favorite years of being a YouTube content creator. And that's because I've been able to meet in person um, other YouTube content creators as well as some subscribers. And to me, that is the hands down my favorite part of YouTube is meeting subscribers out there and making new friends. So, you know, uh, this here most recently I've met um, Billy up there in Luray at his dairy farm. He, he introduced me to the girls, the cows, and his wife. I met her. And um, Billy Beth, appreciate that. And then I met Craig down in uh, North Carolina. Craig sent me a box of chocolates up with an awesome trip, and you saw the video for that. And so, the, the, all they are is names and people who leave comments on your channel and all of a sudden now they're friends and I really appreciate that. So leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to be in the area. We'll hang out. Maybe I'll be in your area one day. We'll meet up, have a cup of coffee or something else and uh, become friends. And um, that's what YouTube is all about in my book. So you guys be safe. Thanks again. Really do appreciate you guys watching.